I know what I need to do. I'm just not doing it. Or why do I keep doing that over and over when it only ends up hurting me? How about this one? Why can't I break this habit or pattern? You know, I once had a high end salesperson come to me who said, Craig, I feel like there's a pile of money sitting right in front of me and I have this rake in my hand and I'm just staring at the pile of money and not raking. Here's another typical one I've heard. I know how to eat healthy. I just can't get myself to do it and I don't have the willpower. Or here's another one. How about being scared to death to speak up or speak in public? Very common. Or maybe you just worry and struts about everything all the time. One final one I want to give you. I just can't pull the trigger on that thing I want to do. You're looking for mental toughness and confidence to overcome these types of mental blocks, right? Good. That's what I do. You're in the right place. I'm a mental toughness trainer. And now let me give you my definition of mental toughness. It's focused, confident, determined, resilient, especially under pressure. Kind of the opposite of all those problems I mentioned earlier, huh? So why do we have all these types of problems? Well, here's why. You have two major functions of your mind, your conscious mind and your unconscious mind. You see, your conscious mind is that function that chooses and decides on how you want to live or do things. Your unconscious mind, and some people call it the subconscious, on the other hand, is the functioning of all your automatic processes. This function operates based on your beliefs, or what I call belief programs, which are networks of beliefs working together. It's part of your nervous system. Well, the bottom line to these problems is this. If you have beliefs or programs that are in opposition to what you want and choose with your conscious mind, your unconscious mind will always win that conflict in the long run. Until and unless you change those beliefs and programs, your unconscious is 100, 1,000 times more powerful over you than your conscious choices. Now, to help you understand this, imagine a rider on an elephant. So how much, does, uh, how much power does a rider on an elephant have over the elephant to get the elephant to do what he wants? It all depends on the elephant's training, right? Therefore, if you want to change something about yourself that isn't working for you today, you've got to reprogram your unconscious mind retrain the elephant. This is it. This is the secret to changing anything you want about yourself. Now, I've known this for a long time. and I've been on a mission to figure out how to actually do this effectively. It turns out that there is no magic trick or silver bullet that works to do this kind of thing overnight. It doesn't exist despite all the advertising you might have seen like lose 10 pounds a week and keep it off forever eating whatever you want. Pure snake oil. And I know you're a lot smarter than that. Now, having said all that, over the years and working with over 1,500 people in person, tens of thousands online, I have developed a systematic process that changes your programming and your program beliefs. It retrains your elephant in less than 30 days. Now, let me give you the basics of my four step process to do that, that I call the race formula for mental toughness. This is the vehicle that transports you to clearing out your mental baggage and, and installing new beliefs that your unconscious mind that automatically operates on moving you effortlessly to your goals. Race formula is a metaphor framework based on a, on, a, on a Formula One race car driver wanting to win a major race, the checkered flag, which is like you achieving your goals. Now, by the way, your goal could be to eliminate a destructive habit or, or procrastination or something like that. Let's start with R, relentless. 
It means you become relentless about your ability and desire to change these automatic thoughts and bodily responses that seem to be out of your control. They are not. Now, this doesn't mean willpower. No. Willpower is that little rider on top of the elephant. You have something more powerful than willpower. Desire to follow a strategic plan. The desire and the plan are all you need. You know, a Formula One driver has a strategic plan and is relentless about every minor detail in preparing for a race and in competition. He never lets up on his focus, analyzes his strategy, what his team is doing. He's always recommitting to his plan when he veers off of it. He is relentless in transforming his mind into a precision machine to work in tandem with his car. When he does that, the wins just happen. A stands for awareness. Now we have begun this process right here in this video. You know the old saying, light at the end of the tunnel. And getting out of the dark tunnel, that's your goal. Awareness is the map of the tunnel and the flashlight to read and follow the map to get you out of it. A Formula One race car driver must literally be as knowledgeable about his car as his mechanics. The best drivers, they can just like hear some little sounds and feel vibrations when driving their car that tell them something might be off. They have awareness of all the workings of their car in order to guide their mechanic or to adjust to what the car is doing in competition in the race. Next is C for clear. Now this is the real work, clearing out your junk programming. A race car driver must have a clear mind going into the race. He must stay focused on the task at hand with that clarity. His vehicle must also be clear inside and out. A speck on the windshield, for instance, can mean the difference between winning and a spectacular crash. Impurities in fuel, oil, other fluids can burn up an engine in seconds. So you literally have like computer viruses in your biocomputer, your body these impurities. They must be cleared out. Next in the race formula, E, emotional mastery. Now this is the final piece for mental toughness. And I used to believe that just clearing out the mental viruses was all you needed to do. But here's, why the, here's what I discovered in recent years. We develop self-sabotaging habits just from the experience of emotions all by themselves. And those don't go away even when you clear out the original reason, the original programming. I'll use myself as an example. When I was young, I was always the smallest boy in every grade, all the way through to high school. I was picked on, I was bullied, and I created some self-destructive beliefs about being small it actually hindered my ability to succeed in business. Now, I cleared that programming, but guess what? I had this knee-jerk fear response that I had been doing for years from all of that to protect me from being bullied. I had to master the fear, which is the emotion, in addition to clearing the original viral beliefs, destructive beliefs. Now, if I hadn't mastered that fear, Right now, I wouldn't be here on camera, on stage, in the news, in public, teaching to you like I am now. This is the power of emotional mastery, becoming courageous, bold, fearless when you wanna do something you wanna do. I am going to send you more emails about this in coming days to pick up where I left off and give you more tools for all this. Look for it. The race formula always works when you work it. Let's do this. I'm Craig Sigal, your mental toughness trainer.